Hi everyone, it's Ms. Aki right here. Um, let us go ahead and complete a simulation activity about asteroids hitting the surface of the Earth to model the crater formation. So you should have a copy of the Google Slides, which you have to complete as you watch this video. I am going to be moving back and forth between um, the video and then the slides just to direct your attention. So at this point, you should have um, already discussed what are the science and engineering processes and then the cross-cutting concepts that are involved in the main objectives of the activity. So this is just an overview of the activity. You can read this yourself. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at what you notice and what you wonder. You watch the experiment that investigates how the size and speed of an asteroid affects the features of its impact crater. Notice the several features of the impact crater include the diameter, the depth, and the distance traveled by the ejecta. So you can go back to this slide later after you have completed taking um, data for all um, the parts of the experiment. There will be actually two parts, so this one is only for part number one. So for part number one and number two, you are going to identify what are the independent variable. Remember, this is the variable that is purposely changed so that you can see the effect on the dependent variable. So dependent variables, those are the ones that you are measuring. And then the constant variable. What is the variable that has been kept the same during the testing? So for both experiments, you are going to be completing that. So for experiment number one right now, you are going to um, go ahead and move on to um, slide number, I think this is slide number eight. You can go back to uh, the procedure of the experiment later on. If, once I give you your small breakout rooms, you can go ahead and watch this on your own and you can pause and write down the step-by-step -step procedure done. Um, by the activity. So I am going to go ahead and uh, proceed on to the video. So this is the pre-recording. I'll be stopping it every now and then as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the materials that are used. This, there is a meter stick, there will be the dish pan, uh, flour will be used, cocoa powder will be used. Uh, we're going to use some corn kernel just to simulate some ejecta. We are going to be using a scale, which I use outside of the video, to measure the mass of the asteroid. And then obviously we have our recording sheet to record all our observations. So to start with, um, we have the dish pan. We, we wanna get as deep, uh, the deepest that you have. And then a flower right there, I will just fill it up um, to deeper the flower, that will be better. And then what you want to do is you want to make it flat, simulating a flat surface or the surface of the earth. And it doesn't have to be completely flat right there. As long as you have an even surface so that when you drop the asteroid, you can see the effect on the features of the impact crater. So after you have done that, you are going to add a very thin layer of cocoa powder. And I use a strainer right here to evenly distribute the cocoa powder on um, the surface of the flower, which now becomes our ground. So this is important because then it will allow us to see um, the impact crater in detail. So once you're done that one, you should be ready. Um, I forgot to mention earlier, you will need your asteroids. So for our asteroids, I have three objects. I have two small marbles and then a potato. So this is what I mentioned earlier. These are the corn kernels. What I will do is I'll just go ahead and spread it um, throughout evenly wherever the asteroid will hit the surface. If it's really strong, then it will eject, that's why it's called ejecta. It will eject those particles from the surface. So we are now ready. We are going to start with our three objects as our asteroids. The first marble is a small one, which is just six grams. This medium size is 
um, 20 grams, and we have a small sized potato, but compared to the marble, it's the biggest. It's actually 100 grams. So I use this scale uh, for this activity. So if you look at this, um, we have the dependent variable, the diameter, the depth, and then the distance traveled by the ejecta. But in this first part of the experiment, we are going to keep the drop height the same at 50 centimeters. So that will be the constant variable. So go ahead and take a look at your slide where you're recording the data for experiment number one. So now we are ready. Um, we are going to use the meter stick. And obviously, we're going to make sure that the zero that we're going to use um, the centimeters as our unit of measurement for the height. Zero is on the ground, and I'm going to just go ahead. You cannot see it, but on 50 centimeters, a half a meter. So I'm going to drop it right now for our first test. There you go. So you can see it. Um, so now the next step is just to really collect the data. So first is you are going to um, measure, again, the unit that I'm using in the ruler right now is still in centimeters. Going to measure um, the distance, the, the distance of the ejecta is zero. We didn't really see a lot of particles being ejected from the impact crater, but the diameter for the six gram marble asteroid Go ahead and take a look at this one. Um, you're going to have a chance to go back to this one as well shortly. So the diameter of the crater is two centimeters. Just recorded that one. And now measuring the depth, that is 2.5 centimeters. And again, we do not have any ejecta, so you're going to write down none on the third column. So now let's go ahead and move on to the second. Um, asteroid, the medium sized marble. So we're going to drop it so you can see that there has been a lot of uh, flour that has been ejected from the surface. So, again, let's um, use the ruler to measure uh, the diameter for the medium size. The diameter of the crater is 2.8 centimeters, and then the depth of the crater is 4.0 centimeters. And then we have seen some um, ejecta. Tra uh, traveling from the impact crater as far as 20 centimeters. So I just wrote down um, that one is 20 centimeters. Okay, so for the third one, the potato is the largest one. Isn't that amazing? You can see as far as right there, um, the flower was ejected from the surface. So that will be for the third column. I just did that one first, just use this. You mean, I don't want to forget where was the farthest flower. So that will be 60 centimeter. That will be the distance the ejecta travels for our largest asteroid in experiment number one. And um, measuring the diameter and the depth. The depth is 5.5 centimeters. The diameter is 8.0 centimeter as well. So you will have time to go back to this to write the procedure and record all your data. Again, this is where you're going to copy down. You can pause the video and see right now at this point, you should have um, completed this slide right here, which says experiment number one.